got it better than us? Nobody! Who's got it better than us? Hey Wolverine Nation, welcome to another episode of Michigan Football The Vlog with your boy Dino, aka The Game. Today we're going to be talking about the rivalry game coming up Saturday, November 16th. You know it's against MSU. You know we got to be ready for them boys. Right now, you know, they kind of pissed. They 4-5. and five. They would like nothing else but to ruin our season. You know they're going to come at us strong. Even though they're 4-5, and five, they're going to act like they're playing like they're 9-0. and oh. So we got to be ready for them. On that note, let's get into some highlights of last year when we was up in East Lansing ranked number 7. And we ran it on them. Take a look at this. Shotgun guns it right nice side. Catch. One hand catch wow. made. Beautiful grab made for a first down by Connor Hayward. Outstanding grab there. One handed. It's becoming second nature. No, no help from the left hand. Ooh. All the right hand. And he was in the grasp. Yes, he was. Shotgun for Lewerke. Five receivers detached. Back to throw. Lots of time. Now pressured. And he'll get sack time. Josh Uche runs down Lewerke at the 40-yard line, the 39-yard line. And the Spartans will be forced to kick it away. And that was an effort sack. Josh Uche did a great job of getting upfield and just working his way around the edge. Well, we've just got an announcement from the officials, John. There is lightning within the designated area. And for the safety of the fans and both teams, they are postponing this football game or delaying this football game. And both teams will now head to their locker room. Shea Patterson looking for the snap. Gets the snap. Looks, looks, looks. Throws in the middle. Caught. Touchdown, Michigan. Nico Collins, seven yards. The Wolverines score and draw first blood against the Spartans. And rightfully so. The guy that saved that drive. On the big tip, third down conversion for first. Nico Collins comes up big with a touchdown reception and a nice bullet by Shea Patterson. Two things, John. Great protection and what a throw. Play fakes to Evans. Rolls to his right. Looking downfield. Nowhere to throw it. He's going to be hit near the sideline and thrown down. Back at the 20-yard line. Andrew Dowell makes a big-time play. Yeah, very great coverage there in the defensive secondary for Michigan State. Nowhere to go for Shea Patterson looking to just throw that ball. He's looking for the tight end there, Sean McKeon. He was covered up, held on to the ball, thought he was going to lull Michigan State to sleep and try to run it, but no go. The punter, Will Hart, the snap back, the put down, oh, yeah. no kick. Good. Ugly. Wide left. Almost looked like it was had to be tipped at the line of scrimmage. To be that bad. Yeah, I'll take a look, another look at that because that was a knuckleball, barely got above eye level. Yeah, it was. Looked like Kenny Willikus got a hand on it. It was going left already. Yeah. Snap back to Brad Lewerke. Pressure, down he goes. He's going to be sacked by Josh Uche. And there is a player down for Michigan State. And it's Felton Davis. Sally Nogle, the head athletic trainer, and her crew out there to look at Felton. Oh, don't like the way that looks down there. He's, he's holding the area that the Achilles. That is definitely the sign of an Achilles injury. A late handoff. And nothing doing for Evans. Ball came out. And ball the came ball out. came out as he was hit around the eight-yard line. Michigan State and ball. Michigan State is recovered. The Spartan defense makes another play. It is officially now the Spartans football. Brandon Boyer Randall recovers that ball. And Raekwon is the guy who popped it loose. I'm almost positive. Two tight ends, offset out of the left. Toss sweep to LJ, running left. The Wide open. It back to Stewart. He'll throw it into the end zone. Caught by Brian Lewerke. Touchdown, MSU. Spartan trickery catches the Wolverines flat-footed. Absolutely. Brian Lewerke takes a snap, 
throws a toss to L.J. Scott for an end-of-round pass. Will Hart to punt. Short punt. One hop to Shaq Brown. Sheds one tackler. Cuts to his left. He's at the 45 oh. on his feet, and he's hit at the 47. The ball comes loose. I don't know who has it. There is a flag on the play. Michigan has come up with a football. Drew Brown took the punt on one hop, started to his left, and trying to make more out of it than maybe was there. Yeah. Lost the football. Did not get the ball in his outside hand. He's going to the, the left, and he held the ball in his right hand. And now Michigan has good field position. Ball okay, bobbled no. on the handoff. And the ball is loose. Looks like the Spartans have it. Yes. They do. Yes. yes. They take advantage of a Wolverine bobble because they had them surrounded. Tyree Thompson recovered the fumble. Yeah, Raquan Williams was there first. Yeah, they kind of squeaked back to Tyree Thompson. Gets the football. Back to throw. Looks. Throws. Throwing deep down the right sideline. And it's caught. Over the 50. Down to the 30. Yet it is all the way. Touchdown. Michigan. That's the shot we've been waiting for. The Wolverines get the big, big home run ball. Patterson to Donovan Peoples-Jones. He runs by Trey Person, 79 yards. And Mason, they give it to Mason. Mason pounds his way, right guard, touchdown, five yards, touchdown, Michigan. Well, I tell you what, that was a well-blocked play, and the same Ben Mason. Rocky Lombardi waits for the snap. Throws it over the middle, incomplete. Intended for Matt Dotson. And Michigan can now officially celebrate the victory. And Shea Patterson takes another knee, and Michigan storms the field like they've won the national championship. But for the third time only in 11 seasons, they've managed to beat Michigan State. The final's 21 to 7. That was something, wasn't That was really something. It's, sometimes it's nice looking at those old games. I hope this year's game is way better than that, and the score is way much worse. Anyway, we're going to take a look at a little official trailer. It's called Divided We Stand, Michigan versus MSU. You know, Michigan people, Michigan players, MSU people, MSU players, coaches, Izzo, you know, Coach Beeline, basketball players. I think Jimmy King's in this. They're going to be talking about the rivalry between Michigan and Michigan State. Anyway, that's coming on FS1 Fox, November 14th, 11 p.m. Let's take a look at the trailer. Tom, let's just do a big picture. How would you best describe the rivalry with Michigan? It's the Hatfields and the McCoys. It's two great universities feuding, you know, like two big great families feuding. If you ask any Sparty fan what a Michigan fan is all about, they're going to say we're arrogant and that we think that we're better than them. And we are. <laughs> <laughs> the real is probably not as smart as you think you are. We actually don't pay attention to what Michigan State does, and I think that eats into them. I believe it's Denny Stoltz uh, who said in the 70s that AA does not stand for Ann Arbor, but arrogant asses. When everything is going really good, they talk trash, they do everything, but if something isn't going right, there's excuses. That's not blue collar. Blue collar doesn't make excuses. What is inescapable is that the success of one is dictated by beating the other. And anytime that they act like it's not true, they're lying through their teeth. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. I like that official trailer. I can't wait to see the whole thing. Remember, November 14th at 11 p.m. on FS1 
Fox. Can't wait to see that. Maybe I get a longer version for you guys. But anyway, it's time to get in show and tell, show and tell, show and tell. So right now what I got for you guys, the first game in the big house under the lights against Notre Dame, that official night game jersey signed by my boy, no other than Jake Ryan. He was a beast. Y'all remember Jake Ryan? Come on now, do I need to show y'all some highlights? Anyway, that's my show and tell. Official under the lights. In the big house, first night game jersey, signed back Jake Ryan, number 47. He's with Green Bay now. Let's go. On that note, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, say what I can do better for the channel, leave y'all comments below, and as always, stay true, go blue. Oh, that's right. I hope I see y'all this Saturday at the Michigan-Michigan State game. I'm going to be there, baby. Anyway, on that note, stay true, go blue, and I'm back to work. Um, well, I just uh, Chris Evans tweeted last week and suggested he's been, I, I don't want to put words in his mouth, it sounds like he's been reinstated. Is, can you update his status, Chris Evans? Yes, Chris, Chris uh, will be uh, reinstated for the winter term. That means January? And the, does that mean he's back on the football team? Winter term, team? January. And he's back on the football team? Uh, when he's, yeah, when he gets back in school, he'll be, he'll be able to participate fully in the football team. <laughs> My my uh, my knowledge of the situation is that uh, he had a, had a meeting and uh, conducted a meeting where a scheduled meeting to uh, see if he'd be reinstated back into school. And my understanding is that he will be for the winter. And just to follow up on that, you would be eligible to play next season for you guys. Yes. What's up, everybody? I almost forgot to say, I want to welcome back Chris Evans. Y'all just heard it from Jim Harbaugh. He will be attending Michigan January 2020. 2020. Sorry about that. He will be able to play next year on the Michigan football team. So welcome none other than Chris Evans, Captain America. Y'all remember Chris Evans. Y'all can see him in the background. So congratulations to Chris Evans. Welcome back to the team. I hope you do big things next year. And on that note, as always, stay true, go blue, hit the subscribe button, and y'all know I'm back to work.